In Activity 12, Comparing Materials, students examine a collection of metal, wood, and plastic pieces. Students first discover that some objects are made of more than one material, and then examine a variety of objects to determine which objects are made from a single material and which objects are made from more than one material. You will need the following materials from your kit. Activity Sheet 12, blocks, birthday candles, corks, 8-ounce plastic cup, rubber bands, insulated wire with stripped ends, metal samples, plastic samples, wood samples, and sorting trays. You will also need to provide square of aluminum foil from Activity 11, crayons, pencils, describing properties chart from Activity 9, felt tip marker, scrap paper, scissors, and a sneaker. To prepare for Session 1, make a copy of Activity Sheet 12 for each student. Each team of four will need a sorting tray containing two metal samples, one brass, one steel, two wood samples, one light colored, one dark, two plastic samples, one clear, one opaque. To begin Session 1, distribute a sorting tray containing metal, plastic, and wood samples to each team. Give students a few moments to examine the contents of their trays. Then, define the word material for the class as the kind of matter an object is made of. Hold up a metal sample and ask students to find a similar object on their trays. Ask, what material is this object made of? How do you know? Students should say that the object is made of metal because it is shiny, hard, silvery, and heavy. Have students find other metal samples on their trays and ask them to describe them and record their responses on the Describing Properties chart under the heading Properties of Metal. Explain to the class that all metal objects will have many of the same properties, such as shiny, hard, silvery, and heavy. Students may also recall from Activity 11 that some metals are magnetic. Hold up a sample of wood and ask students to find a similar object on their trays. Again, ask students, what material is this object made of? How do you know? A student should identify the material as wood and describe the wood as brown, grainy, and hard. Encourage students to find the other wood sample on their tray. Describe the other wood sample and record their responses on the Describing Properties chart under the heading Properties of Wood. Repeat this process with the plastic samples. A student should describe the plastic as hard, flexible, and smooth. Again, record student responses on the Describing Properties chart this time under the heading Properties of Plastic. Next, distribute a copy of Activity Sheet 12 to each student and have them complete steps 1 through 3. To conclude Session 1, lead a discussion about different kinds of things that are made of metal, things that are made of wood and plastic, and what these things are used for. Guide students to understand that material's properties make that material very good for some uses, but not at all good for others. Have fun brainstorming with the class what it would be like to have clothes made of wood, books made of metal, or food made of plastic. To prepare for session two, cut the sheet of scrap paper into three centimeter by three centimeter or larger squares. Each team of four will need a sorting tray containing an aluminum foil square, a block, a birthday candle, a cork, a crayon, a scrap paper square, a pencil, a plastic cup, a rubber band, and a piece of wire. You will also need a sneaker for a class demonstration. To begin session two, explain to the class that objects can be made out of materials other than metal, wood, and plastic, and encourage students to think of examples by asking, what are some other materials that things are made of? Listen to students' ideas and encourage them to give examples of objects made from these materials. Uh, for example, students may suggest books made of paper or balls made of rubber. Explain to the class that many objects are made out of more than one material. Hold up a sneaker and ask, what different materials is this sneaker made of? Students observe that the sneaker is made of many different materials, including leather or canvas. The sneaker may also have metal rings around the shoelace holes, and it probably has rubber soles and thread holding everything together. Next, distribute a sorting tray of items and allow students time to examine the objects. Ask students, what materials are some of the objects made of? They should observe that some objects are made of one material, while others are made of more than one material. Challenge students to sort their objects into two piles, objects made of one material and objects made of more than one material. Have students identify and describe the objects they found to be made of one material. 
uh, the aluminum foil, corks, rubber bands, scrap paper squares, and plastic cups are made of metal, cork, rubber, paper, and plastic, respectively. Then hold up each object made from more than one material individually and ask what it is made of. A student should find that the block is made of wood and paint, the candle is made of wax and a wick, the crayon is wax and paper, the pencil is carbon, wood, metal, and rubber, and the insulated wire is metal and plastic. Finally, have students complete question four of their activity sheets. To conclude the activity, return all materials to the kit. Make sure to leave the chart on display. For science background, reinforcement activities, curriculum connections, and information about the science reader, please consult your DSM teacher's guide.